welcome back. Shake Crest Unleashed. Feed the Beast. And let's do a little F5 action here. Does it even work? Yeah. <laughs> we are back in the um, Promised Land base. And I'm kind of getting set up here. As you've seen in the last video, we had the Witch Spawner going. And the Turtles are making quick work of them. But... In order to free ourselves from having to make essence, I decided to make a witch shard. Now, uh, the shards are fairly easy to make now, so you guys can just... Um, I think you put down a piece of glowstone, and then you put netherrack on four sides, and you surround that with endstone, and then click a diamond on the glowstone, and you get a soul shard. Well, I have found out that, basically... <laughs> Check this out. Where are we at here? We're on 710. Okay? And these are witches coming from the auto spawner we made. So all we had to do is capture one witch. We got this thing going. We're at 710. And one hit gets me at, I don't know. There we go. Where are we at now? 728. So what I've got here is a Sword of the Zephyr. With Soul Stealer 5, Sharpness 5, Repair 2, and Vampirism 1, and all that helps collect soul. Souls, I guess you could say, for the Soul Shard. So, I think all we have to do to get is to 1,000. This shouldn't take too long. I should probably just go ahead and turn these off. I believe it's Control T. Yeah. Turn them off for now. That way they ain't killing anything. Control T. We gotta hold it down for a bit. Terminated. There we go. Clear this up and hit over there. What we got? Control T. There we go. Now that wind is from the. Uh, Someone to stop now. <laughs> it's from the sword, the sword of Zephyr. And when you right click it, it can blow items or mobs away. Alright, but let's see here. What we got? We're at 806. <laughs> Nothing's dead yet. There we go. And 830. <laughs> 914. This is by far the easiest way to make a tier 5 soul shard. Almost there. Well, I thought you had to go to 1000. Keep going. Oh, I'm gonna starve to death. <laughs> I'm uh, what am I at 65 XP and there's like probably like a hundred sitting there. Tier five. There we go. <laughs> Let's go up and turn the system off. Um, all I have here is this lever to shut the mob essence from from uh, from feeding in, and then after a short time, it'll stop feeding. Um, it'll start sp stop spawning witches, and we can go in here. Collect all the goodies you see laying in there. So if I break this pipe, I might be able to collect most of them. No? Keep an eye on our sword so we don't break it. Oh, they poisoned me. <laughs> wow. We gotta get in there and get all that stuff. So much XP sitting in there. I need a I need a brain jar. Or brain in a jar, however you say it. Come on. I don't know, I might not dismantle this. I might leave this for um maybe making another type of soul shard. <laughs> We need to open our pack here and start getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Some potions. And boots. Don't need those. Where are the rest of the items? Can I not get to those? Oh, 
Oh, it's because this belt. I forgot. You can't really pick up items off of a belt. It doesn't really work right. Oh, there we go. Now here comes the stuff. <laughs> I think we got most of it. Did we? Walk around here and get the rest of the XP. Let it funnel in there, I guess. We'll come over here and get it. Looks like it's all glitching from here. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Now this is a tier 5 witch shard. And we can control it with redstone, be a lot easier. Um, steel shovel, I'll take that. Otherwise, junk. I don't even know where to put this thing, it's going to come right back on my lap, so. Let's come up back up here. There we go. Get rid of that junk. Junk. What's in this one? Um. Yeah, why not? Get rid of that. The death blooms. I'm I'm not sure if they're worth much, but this one's all right. I got enough of those. What's the next one got in it? Yeah, more of that. Okay, so we got a couple good items out of it anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's get this put up. And that one there. Yeah. Okay. So, I do believe I'm going to take this witch, uh, safari net witch here, and I'm going to get all set up with, I don't know if I want to use grinders or go back or just put the soul cage right here. I don't know. Anyway. I'm going to get something set up with this tier 5 witch shard here and be back with you in just a bit. Okay, guys. Here we are. We're back again. <laughs> Showing you how to put a little wireless redstone together. So, some of the things you're going to need uh, to start off with is the obsidian stick. Just put... Uh, here, we can go over it right here. Oops. No, not tool rod. No, right there. <laughs> two pieces of obsidian gives you two sticks. You're going to need these, what I'm calling a Raither Pearl, but I'm sure there are either Pearl. I don't know. <laughs> Those are pretty easy to make, and if you don't know how, you can take iron in this shape and make an Ender Pearl. So if you take that, another stick, obsidian stick, two redstone and the stone slabs you get the transmitter and with this one with the receiver dish which you take uh, the transceiver like such the, put it in a bowl the stone bowl which does just stone pretty simple like that put that together and you have a receiver so what you can do you can have a lever next to the transmitter and code this one <clears throat> and then place this one on top of the soul cage and have it coded to the same so that whenever you turn the switch on it turns the soul cage on without having to run any wires whatsoever um, it's pretty handy one thing I wish we still had was the red alloy wire but obviously that's not going to happen so this is what we got um, my sounds are about ready to go crazy mixer let's just turn that off and maybe that one too. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some of these things here. So I need to make uh, one bowl like that. And we need to put that down there. Get us some redstone. That. I believe the bowl goes up here and the stick here. Yeah, there we go receiver and maybe trans nope it's gotta go up one there we go just like that so we're gonna need another lever uh, hello 
New lever. No, we're out of levers. Okay. Well. Easy fix there. I don't need 32 of them, that's for sure. Look at all those sticks we got from the witches. <laughs> Let's grab two just in case. And we have any buckets. Like that. Let's see, do we want to we don't need this stuff. Put some of this stuff away. Because if not, you know me, I'll have just everything in my inventory. I uh, don't need you. Um, to keep you. And that should be good. One thing. I don't know if I want to change this, the setup we got now or just add a new one. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's go ahead and change it now since everything's set up. And I can always... Where am I going? I can always or change it back later if we want to do something different. So, back to the promised land. <laughs> and we go here, or up one. No, oh, need to go up one. I'm still not used to my new base. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn... That's off. Go ahead and break that. Did I bring the glass with me? Of course I did not. Let's go ahead and break that. Come on. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, it's got 1.6 million. Let's go ahead and, and leave it. It ain't gonna hurt nothing sitting there. And... Come on. Oh, I gotta wrench in my inventory. Duh. And, you know what, let's just, let's leave the piping there, no, not you, don't, don't wrench that thing, Whew, that was close, that wouldn't have sucked, I'd have been pissed, okay, back up to here, nope, there we go, um, I don't want to be down here when I put this in, um, can I put that underneath it? I mean, can I put it like on the side of it? Or, because I remember before just using the, a piece of red pipe wire. I don't know now. We'll try it this way, but I don't think it's going to work. Matter of fact, I know it's not going to work. We need to go get some redstone. Dang it. That red pipe wire, the red alloy wire, was so handy. <sighs> oh, um, but you know what we could use? Here. The next best thing. Some redneck cable. Um, here we go. <laughs> Forgot what I was going to type in. That should do it there. Yep, yeah, that. Oh, no, oh, no, no. We need glass, too, don't we? Jesus, man. I'm all over the place. Okay. And back to the Promised Land base. A bit laggy each time it does that. Sometimes going back and forth makes it worse, but mm, whatever. <laughs> okay, so redneck cable. Um, I do believe that we need to place it right there, and then facing this way. And I'm sure I'm gonna get this wrong. Like that. Ah, uh, that looks like it connected. While we're down here, do we need to go ahead and code this to 
plus 10, plus plus 12, yeah, there we go. Okay, so the frequency is now I can't get up. Crap. <laughs> so the frequency would be 12. Oh man, I can't see nothing. This haste really wasn't... It's great for traveling, but it kind of... It's a pain in the butt for any... Oh. I'll drop that piece of stone. It's kind of a pain in the butt for just trying to get through a small hole like that. Nope, 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 nope. We got some here. There we go. There we go. So, this does not have to be connected. Hence the term wireless. <laughs> Duh. Um, the trans... Oh. Let's place the transmitter right there. The lever under it. Click on here, go 10 plus plus, so it's 12. We could go to advanced so we can name it, and we can name it which spawner. Okay. Set name. And you can also type in the, the number you want here and set that. And close that. Let's see if I can get to. No. Of course not. Twelve set before it gets us away. Hmm. Okay, I guess we got that. We'll find out here in a second. So I do believe we need to go ahead and turn this on. Is that on? So that when we place the witch spawner in here, it just doesn't automatically take off. Because I think that if you turn the power on, it basically kills the spawner. If that's right. Okay, so it's in there. Now, for safety's sake, let's cover this up and turn this off. There we go. Okay, now we gotta get down here and turn these all back on. So these turtles, and I'll show you the program. It took me a while because I was misspelling turtle, believe it or not. So we're gonna do, type in edit, start up, hit enter, and then the program is just this right here. While true, do, and then you put the spaces here, turtle dot attack, and then the parentheses, and then the sleep time, and then end at the same distance here. Now I'm not going to go over these turtles much because I, all I did was just copy the program that's off the wiki, so that's all I know to do. I don't know much about these things, but all you do is you hit, hit control, and hit enter for save, and then hit control again, and exit. Okay, so then all you need to do it when you get back to this screen is type in start up and hit enter. And it's running. See him? There we go. Same way here. It's the same program. Oh, crap. <laughs> we need a piece of pipe there. <laughs> we took that out to get to the get to him while ago. Start up, hit enter, and we're good there. Look at the XP. Now the turtles, that's the big difference between turtles and a grinder. A grinder makes the liquid XP, and the turtles actually leave XP on the, on the floor. So it's best to get far enough in Thomcraft so you can have like a brain jar there to collect all that extra XP. And then what I gotta come along and do is bump the jar and get XP whenever you need it. But ow, ow, man, which is our pain in the butt. Wait, wait, wait! There we go. <laughs> it's like a maze to get out of there. So I'm gonna run back and get 
golden pipe. Fill that gap in. It's going, it's sooner or later, it's going to lag out on me here from running back and forth so much. All we need is one. And drop this stuff off. Yeah, we don't need that or that. And hang on to a few things. All right. Whoops. And back we go. Okay. Whoa. Down to, yeah, over here. <laughs> oh, man, look at all the stuff. It's good for collecting XP, though. Like... This is probably just a huge waste of XP, because I'm not sure what I need to enchant next, but whatever. I'll take it. Oh, and then if you do have this set up like this, you can see how I put these wooden pipes next to each other so they wouldn't connect. And then in the center, I have an iron pipe so that the, the opaque part is pointing up toward the item tesseract. That way, items don't come flying over to here or flying back and forth in here. Jesus, man. You just get XP at will. So. Okay, the other thing that I had worked on today was a farm for the new base. And do we have anything? Yes, 52 sugar canes. I need to plant some. I was running dangerously low on sugar canes, so I hollow hollowed out a room here. And it, oh, I forgot to deal with the sludge. Oh, I hate sludge. And plop the harvester down with an energy tesseract. And the good thing about this, you don't need a planter. It'll chop off the top two, the top two layers there, and leave the bottom one. And I put an upgrade in it so it would reach all the way out to here. You know, you have to. Just, this means you just have to plant it by yourself, which is not that big of an issue. We can do that, right? But once it's planted, it's self-contained. Now hopefully this will give us enough paper for one, for crafting recipes, because we was literally almost out. There it goes. And for two, maybe one of the villagers We'll have a good paper trade, and now we'll have a good reed farm to keep up with it, maybe. So, but I did put the uh, emerald upgrade in this thing, which increases the radius by 11. Now, the, I'm not sure if it's the right way, but the way that I see that is, originally this will do a 3x3 three three square in front of it. So it would get as far as right to this line right here. Well, with that increase, it gives you like 11 more blocks, I believe. So if there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 to here. So that should reach all the way out to here. And I'm going to place that one there just to test it and see what happens. Now, I don't know if that... Basically, it has a three block reach. I don't know if that that 11 includes the three blocks or added on to that. So, we'll find out. Anyway, let's go back up and check on our villagers. See how they're doing. What is... My cat has gotten into something over there making a bunch of noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. She has decided to be annoying right now. <laughs> so, hey, they've all moved inside. What's up, guys? No breeding? Nobody breeding? I haven't gotten any more breeding action in a while. Um, I don't know why that is, but it seems to kind of stop. I put a chunk loader in there for the witch farm. 
So maybe that'll speed it up a little bit right here. Um, keep this here in case we want to put that auto spawner back in there and have, I don't know, a different type of mob make a different soul shard. I have stations set up here for the different, um, really cat? Jesus. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have stations set up here um, for the different types of villagers. And once we get all the different types bred up here, then I will use the jailer's net, capture it, place it in here, put these, well, I got rid of them, but put the um, cobblestone walls in here so they can't get out and breed with them, and if they aren't very good, then I figured I'd just um, have a piston here, which I haven't done yet. We can look at that right now. There we go. <laughs> I just figured that if they aren't any good, oh, 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 I'll hit, a, I'll have a piston here with a block, and a lever on top of it, maybe up here, so that if you don't like them, you just hit the lever, piston opens, they fall down, load up into the overworld, and hit and die. So that way you're not actually killing them yourself. I mean, it might be easier and save on server if I just put like two or three blocks of lava or one block of lava down there and, and seal that up instead of dropping them through and making them load load chunks on the other side, so maybe that's what I'll do. But anyway, that's what I'm looking at there. Um, close that back up. And look at her go. So, endless redstone, glowstone, sticks, um, healing, regeneration potions, sugar, glass bottles. <laughs> These are one handy mob. Well, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and just cut it off there I guess and we'll pick back up on this at a later date with the the mobs um, I may have to go through the overworld and try to get the ones I want if this isn't going to um, produce fast enough so yeah I'll catch up with you later um, you can check us out on shakecrest.com find all the server information there and uh, peace out I'm gonna have a nice bath Ah. Oh.